Hi everyone, I wanted to run through what Moodle looks like and some of the basics of how it works, especially for people who have not used Moodle. So you get in, you log in, you get to the course, and things look something like this. Um, there may or may not be a video here, but let's run through the basics. I've included the syllabus, and you just have to click on that and it pulls it right up. You can, of course, save it, print it, anything like that. There is a forum which I will post news of the course. This is a way for me to sort of immediately send out a message to everyone. It goes right to the email you've connected to. And it'll be basic stuff. It might be big things coming up. It could be links, that sort of things. This is a forum for you if you have a question and when you have a question. Um, just simply click add a new discussion topic. Come up with a topic. Maybe there is something where a link doesn't work in uh, the first module. And just post that. I will spot that pretty quickly after and take care of things. Okay. You'll notice up here it's sort of the breadcrumb trail. And watch, we'll watch as we expand this up when we go to a few things. So the poll is one of the first things you'll be doing. And let's say that you open the poll and then think, wait, I actually need to read some things first. You could use the back arrow, but you can also just simply click the breadcrumb trail and you can get back here right to the course and let's say maybe you actually want to look at what the other course was make sure you're in the right place just click right here and realize that oh yes I am here so we have this sort of navigation box that takes you to the course and also lets you see the participants in the course you'll see right now there are just two Bridget and Peter and myself um, when you log in, your name will show up here. It is really helpful for you to go to your login or your participant and edit your profile. It's a pretty simple thing. Come right over here, edit profile, put in your information, say a little bit about who you are, upload a picture, a few contact infos, and update things. Let's go back to the course. Oops, we'll leave this page. You'll have messages periodically. They might come from me. It could be from another student, and they will show up here. I currently don't have anything. You will be able to see your grades over here, and this will be a little tricky because there are not a lot of grades in this course, but I'll keep you posted on this. You can see people who are in the course. If you use a blog in this course, um, you'll be able to access it here. And you can see who else is in the course. So let's say you are in, and you'll see your name, your picture, and myself if I'm in there. You can just click my name, and you'll have a little button to send me a message. Um, messages will show up right there. So. This is the, the basic, right? The basic intro, this will change periodically. This is module one, which is where you're starting. So there's a little introduction, something I ask you to read here. Um, an opening video, this is essentially my lecture for the week, it's like 14 minutes maybe. Um, the start here page, and that's obviously the first place to begin. And these are sort of my directions for the week. Now this I need to change, but uh, it walks you through. And it's usually pretty clear what you have to do. There might be anywhere from four to 10 different things. I have some readings here. And you'll see there are right now five links. I just added one more. Just simply click one. It'll take you right to the link, read, come back to the course. Um, 
there may be a video to play, much like you're playing this one. Uh, and like quick, and uh, if it is really small, then you can usually change this to get to a bigger format. Sometimes I keep them very small because they're easy to load, easy to play. Other times I make them larger. And objectives for the week are right here. So let's go back and let's say that one of these things is this, which is a discussion forum. And I ask you to consider um, why you're here to talk about what you're hoping to do in the course. So your job is just to click reply and put in your ideas right here. Um, and hopefully you're writing a you know a paragraph certainly much more than I'm just demonstrating here and then go right ahead and post to the forum. Now one thing I'm going to ask you to do is to double check what you've posted and make sure that indeed it's what you wanted to say. If it's not, you can go ahead and edit things. If you would like to paste something in, let's say you have some text. I'm just going to grab this. And you actually want to replace it with this. Well, if this is just text from a site like Notepad or uh, just a plain text editor, you can often just paste it right in. But if it is something from Word, let's say you wrote something in Microsoft Word, then you need to paste it in this way. Because what this will do is this will actually strip out all the hidden codes from Microsoft Word so that when it comes into this forum, it comes in nice and clean. If you were just to copy and paste from Microsoft Word or Pages, then when you go to post it, it's going to be all messy. It'll have all kinds of crazy codes. So just double check what it is you had, and you're off and running. Get back to where you were. You don't have to hit the back arrow a bunch of times. Just simply click the course. This is the basic orientation for Moodle. So I hope this is helpful. If you get in a jam, please let me know. Um, this works best with Chrome. I believe it works well with Safari. If you're using Firefox, I don't think Moodle works too well with that. Likewise with Internet Explorer, but you can certainly try those. Just make sure that if you are posting to a forum, that when you go to post, you click reply, you can see all these little icons, bold, okay, links, all this stuff. If you can't see this, then you need to use another browser. All right? That's the big key. Okay, so that's it for now.